In this tutorial, we will talk about several topics in evolution. The founder effect, bottlenecking, and genetic drift. Our story begins with a small island and a small group of seven people, 43% of which have an unattractive condition that causes them to be bald. Here is a section of the mainland population. The percentage of bald people is much lower, only about 10%. The small population of humans arrive on the secluded island far away from any mainland. Keep in mind that this group of people is a very inaccurate representation of the percentage of people in the normal population with this hairless condition. The small group of founders arrives on the island and begin to get to know one another. The small amount of humans procreates and procreates and procreates until their population grows to a number supported by the conditions on the island. As procreation continues, notice the increasingly high number of bald people. After another survey of the population, we can see that there is a much higher percentage of bald people on the island. This is a result of the founder effect. Because the founders of the island had a much higher percentage of people with a genetic condition, and therefore, their descendants do too. Suddenly, a natural disaster comes and wipes out all of the population, except for a few survivors. As the rubble is washed away, and life begins to flourish on the island once again, the survivors begin to rebuild their population, with an even higher percentage of bald people than before. This is a result of bottlenecking. There was already a high percentage of the condition on the island before the disaster. When nearly all the population is wiped out, the survivor's genetics are passed on to their descendants, who represent an even higher percentage of the bald people than before the disaster. At this point, we have a smallish population inhabiting our fictional island. Due to the absence of natural disasters, the population exists freely. However, the factor of randomness has yet to be examined. As chance will have it, gradually more and more people with hair survive, and subsequently reproduce on the island. Especially due to the small population, the allele frequencies gradually change over time, resulting in a drift of phenotypes from bald to hairy. <laughs> 